serdecznie w Siedlarni Świata Koni. Dzisiaj naszym gościem jest Abdullah al Sharbati, srebrny medalista Mistrzostw Świata z 2010 roku. Uh, hello, Abdullah. Hello. Uh, how are you? How do you feel in Poland? Yeah, very good. I really like Poland. And the uh, first time I came to Poland was in 2010. And uh, I really liked it. And uh, um, I like the shows. And the people are really friendly and really nice. Uh, the shows are organized. Are organized really well. It's well, sorry, it's well organized. And uh, I really like Poland. And, uh, as soon as I have the chance to compete in Holland, I always come. And when I know that there is an international show, I always come to participate because I like the weather, I like uh, the shows, and I like uh, I like the Polish people. They're nice, they're friendly. You began uh, at seven uh, years old, right? Uh, how did it happen? How did it horses? Actually, my my parents, uh, my father, my uncle, they. Uh, they, uh, they teach me how to ride and uh, and they pushed me to ride <laughs> and pony and then I started to, that's why I started to ride when I was seven and I started to jump even when I was seven also so it was fun I liked it and uh, and uh, I always get supported uh, from uh, from my mother now uh, she's always supporting me and, uh, and uh, thanks God also that we had the Saudi equestrian it was supporting uh, the top Saudi riders, and uh, we had a lot of success. Uh, I also like to always thank uh, King uh, Abdullah, uh, Ben Abdelaziz. Uh, he's uh, the first supporter of the Saudi equestrian. Mm -hmm. uh, then Prince Turki bin uh, Abdullah and uh, Prince Faisal Abdullah. Uh, they were all behind all our success. And there is also a man <coughs> who was always uh, behind everything. Who's, uh, his name is uh, Ziad Abdul Jawad. We all, we are all, we, we should all thank him, and uh, he was the spirit of our team, and he was uh, the first uh, guy who was behind every victory because he did everything for us, and uh, he deserved that we thank him always. So uh, we we uh, we should always say thank you, Ziad, for what he did for us, and also the the Saudi uh, Saudi riders did a lot of uh, uh, victories. Uh, First uh, was in uh, Sydney in 2000. Mm -hmm. My uh, friend uh, Khaled Alaydi won uh, a bronze medal in the Olympics in Sydney. Then I won the silver medal in the, in the World Equestrian Games in Kentucky. And finally we won the bronze medal, me and my, my colleagues, my friends uh, uh, Kamal Bahangan, Rose Dahami and Prince Abdullah uh, bin, bin Medel. So uh, the, the, the sport in my country is developing a lot. And, we have uh, super riders, we have a lot of talent, and we are very proud of this. Mm -hmm. Which one of these uh, successes you, you mentioned is uh, the most important for you? The most important for me is uh, the championships, which is the World Equestrian Games and the Olympics. And uh, the most important thing for me is uh, to present uh, my king in my country and, uh, and, and then myself. And, uh, and uh, every time I, uh, I win, I, all, I, all, I always feel proud for my country. Before mm -hmm. though, I feel proud for myself. So I, uh, I really like the sport and I love it. Horses are my life, they're my friends, and uh, uh, I can't live one day without seeing a horse or riding a horse. Mm -hmm. So it's my life and it's my profession. I heard that you also sell horses, not only ride on them, but, only, but also you're selling them. Uh, so this is business, right? Yes. Mm, so, uh, in which part uh, you feel better, in business or in sport? Uh, actually, it's diff it's not uh, it's not easy to do both because uh, every time you get a super horse, uh, you always think, oh, should I sell him or should I keep him? But I like to uh, to buy and sell. I like it. It's uh, it's uh, I'm taking it as a business as well because uh, I always believe. Uh, mother of the horses will never die. Uh, you will always find a good horse for you. And also it's good to sell horses to the people and they and they're happy and they're winning with their horses so they, they always thank you and they and you also make a good reputation and you make a good name in the business. It's important. And it's also uh, I found it too greedy when someone has a top horse or yeah someone has a, a super horse or 
and he doesn't want to sell them, you just want to keep them for yourself. If, uh, if it's like this, then life will not go on. You have to buy and sell them. If you don't sell your horse and nobody wants to sell his horse, then we won't be able to buy horses. So it's good that, uh, that uh, even to let the people to, uh, to buy, even if I have a super horse and, some, and somebody come up with a good offer, I, want, I don't mind to sell them and I, you know, I will always find another one. It's, uh... I read that your father uh, had a huge impact on your life and uh, I know that he passed away. Uh, but could you please uh, tell us something about your father? Yeah, he was, uh, he was a great guy. He was, uh, uh, he was a very good rider. He was a successful uh, businessman. Uh, he passed away when he was young. He was 31, I think. And, uh, Okay, I always, uh, I always remember him and, uh, okay, he passed away when I was seven, but I remember him and uh, I wish that he was uh, with me now, but uh, he's he would not, be proud of yeah, he would be proud and, uh, okay, uh, that's life, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm really proud that, uh, that uh, he teached me riding and uh, even my own kid and uh, my mother is supporting me a lot. And, and, uh, that's really nice for her, and I always want, I always should thank my mother because she was the first uh, supporter for me, and uh, she, she supported me a lot. And also my two uncles, Kamal and Muhammad, they supported me a lot. So, uh, uh, like all the horses I have now, they're uh, they're bought from my mother mm -hmm. uh, and my uncle. They support me also. I mean. Uh, because now we have no program with Saudi Western. So we are just having a bit of a hard time now with the Saudi riders, they don't have sponsors. And in this sport, you know, you know, we should always have sponsors. Otherwise, it's difficult because all the riders in the top um, uh, in the top level, they have sponsors and they have owners. It's difficult to, uh, to be alone in the sport and to have no sponsors and to be in the top. Because uh, it costs a portion to buy horses and to maintain them and to take care of them and it's not an easy job. So uh, I hope now that the Saudi question uh, starts soon because uh, I think the Saudi riders uh, they deserve uh, a good program and they are they are super riders. I heard that you like your hobby is uh, tennis table and uh, uh, diving. Yes. Uh, why? Why diving? Why tennis table? I like it. I like diving and I like tennis table. I was the champion of the, of the schools when I was young and tennis table and uh, also diving and uh, also a light. I did also bodybuilding for a long time but I had to stop it because I became too heavy and too stiff and that's against our sport so I had to stop it but I like also bodybuilding. I like to go to the gym every day uh, and, uh, and uh, I like diving as well. Tell me about your current horses, your best horses. Now my best horse is the Tuvalu. Uh, he was uh, he's an unbelievable horse. He's a superstar. Uh, I've never ever rode a horse like him. He's super super careful, and he's very scopy and he's brave like a lion. He's, he's just a little bit spooky, but uh, in the ring he doesn't look. He's just when he sees the fences, he's a lion. He's ultra careful. He's super. Yes, he, he has a super technique. He's a super quality horse. He's he's a he's a crack. He's a champion. And also I have a Kelahan, which is a very nice, very good horse as well. Very scopy, very careful, and uh, and uh, he has a good future. He's only 11 now, and he already won a lot with me. And um, uh, I have uh, I have a lot of belief on this horse. And also I have uh, a real competitive mare. Her name is uh, Andrea. Uh, I bought her from uh, my friend Gertan Bruggen. She's really competitive. She's a machine. She's a real winner. Like I've uh, never went to a show and come back without winning ranking class. She's amazing. And uh, I have another horse called um, uh, Unique. I bought him from Kino Kano. He's a super horse. I think Kino Kano did a very good job with him, uh, uh, building him up and winning a lot of uh, international classes. Because uh, I know when he had him, he was not in the best form. At, but uh, he did a very good job to get him back and get him in top form and I bought him in a top form and he won with me almost everywhere. He's a really nice horse, uh, unique. He's a super horse. And uh, also um, I have another horse called uh, uh, Latoya 44. 
I bought it from um, Stepan uh, from uh, Jorn de Vendel. The owner was Stepan Kunder. Stepan Kunder, also a really, she's a really nice man, like uh, top quality. Uh, but she needs a bit time with me, and uh, uh, I have a, my Olympic horse uh, Sultan. Uh, he's, he's really really good, and uh, I give him the long time break because mm -hmm. he had uh, something with his hoof. So now we had a long time break. He can now back, and uh, I hope he's going to be in a good form. And lately, I bought another horse who's called uh, Coriander from uh, a girl who's called uh, Tatiana, mm -hmm. and he's a really nice horse as well. <laughs> so I have a good group of horses. When I look at you, I see a man. Uh, who's really happy because of uh, horses and uh, equestrian. Uh, what about uh, hard times in career? Actually, in, uh, in our sport, most of the time it's a hard time because to manage the horses and to keep them sound and keep them healthy and keep them fit and travel them and, and, uh, and, and to get them to bed and to always check them and to make sure that they are good that because the sport is too hard, uh, like uh, they're not born to jump. So uh, the more you do competitions and the higher you jump, the more you can have injuries. So you try mm -hmm. to avoid injuries and you try to keep your horse as fit as possible without creating an injury. So it's not an easy thing. It's not an easy uh, job. And also you have to always have a vet with you, a good vet to take care of the horses and uh, keep them uh, under control and keep them healthy. And you need a good blacksmith as well, and uh, you need good ropes, and you need uh, also a good management. You need a good stable manager, and you need uh, you know you don't need you need like stable riders with you to help you. Horses are really um, nice animals. They're very sensitive. They're they're um, you know they're not born to jump. So you have to do everything to keep them healthy. Mm -hmm. Like you have to massage them a lot and. Uh, before and after riding and mm -hmm. like you have to ice them every day to keep make sure that they don't get any inflammation around the tendons or the joints. You have to take care of everything. Really. So if you had so many headaches, uh, what is uh, the way to relax for you the best? No, you will, you know, even if you have a stable manager or you have a manager, you, you always uh, want to be on top of everything because uh, you know, if you care about your horses and you love them, you always like to be on top of everything. And that's and that's a that's a, that's a horsemanship, in my opinion. I mean, um, many riders they really on top of everything. But some riders they don't care and uh, they just leave, leave the stable manager to take care of everything. But I like to be on top of everything myself because I love my horses and I like to be always in uh, in charge of everything so, uh, to see everything. It means that you have no time for for relax. <laughs> it's a bit difficult. I wish if I can, but I can't. But most of the time, I'm in I'm in the show every week. Mm -hmm. So I have a very good people who works with me, and I rely on them, and I trust them, and they're always with my horses at home. But every week I'm in the show. Mm -hmm. But I try to to uh, to keep as close as I can to my horses, even if they're at home, to keep on asking and know every every everything. What, I mean, to know what's happening. And every single detail. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for our conversation. Thank you very much for the job. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pozdravim, Shved Koni. Great. Perfect. To the camera, please. Pozdravim, Shved Koni. Can I take it? I want to read it. It says, I'm saying.